Hey guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd do a quick follow-up on my radiation detector. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. A long time ago I did a bit of a review on my radiation detection device, a dosimeter of sorts. I haven't done a follow-up on that, I haven't even really mentioned it at all, but I have been using this thing to monitor um, background radiation levels in my area. I see some people on YouTube um, that uh, take measurements routinely, make videos, and I question their results, and I also question what's available to us from the news. So I bought this and I take my own measurements. Uh, I forget the price online, I think this is the 01M, you can pick one of these up just about anywhere, they're manufactured out of Russia. Um, pretty, pretty basic unit. There is indeed not much to it. It's super, super light, it's uh, about the size of a small cell phone. It fires up pretty quickly, and we'll get a background radiation level once it settles in here. And I... I the background radiation seems to not vary a whole lot here. We're, we're usually around the 0.1 mark, maybe a little lower, a little higher. It, it, it does tend to wax and wane. And uh, I haven't done videos on it because I haven't found anything really worth posting. But I've been away for a week and a whole bunch of snow fell. So I thought, hey, we'll, we'll take this outside and maybe I'll do a couple layers of snow and we'll, we'll take some measurements and, and see what we get. Again, there, the jury's out on what numbers are normal and what aren't. I know what's relatively normal for my area and this down here in the basement where I'm at right now is pretty normal. Um, pretty easy to work with. It has uh, your, de your high voltage detection um, tube is right in there and it'll pick up through uh, plastic. So we'll wrap this thing up in a plastic bag and take it outside so we don't get it all wet. We don't want water getting in there. It is a, it's high voltage too. Uh, I'll show you what I've, what took a while to get my hands on. I have a, this is my calibration piece. This is a piece of uh, Fiesta Ware pottery. You can buy these online. You actually buy this chunk of this Fiesta Ware that somebody has smashed up and sells piece by piece. Um, like my uh, warning label. <laughs> Danger! Anyway, um, this stuff back, I think around the 60s, I don't know, you can Google it, was uh, coated in, I think, a uranium oxide was to make the the red color and I think there were some other ones so we're pretty much settled out about the point one range now except for what it might be picking up residual check this out and it starts going through the roof almost immediately so uh, that's my calibration it's not uh, calibrated by the numbers I don't know what the actual output in uh, millisieverts or microsieverts per hour uh, to expect out of this uranium oxide coating but I wanted something that I could just sanity check that the meter was capable of going to a high range and was working so um, obviously this thing is pretty radioactive um, I think it's the EPA in the US maybe has recommended that you do not store food or drink in this fiesta wear well yeah, hmm, no kidding, <laughs> wouldn't want to eat off of this, uh, I don't think there's any danger of handling it or anything, We're, the, these numbers, you, yeah, you can google online and, and find out what uh, what's normal, what isn't, what's what's dangerous and, and what your dose is and everything, uh, lots of information available, but let's, uh, let's have a look, uh, what I'll do at the end of the video, I'll post a link to the Suspicious Observers uh, YouTube channel uh, video for today, which includes all the forecasts that go over uh, um, uh, what the wind is doing and where the jet stream's at and whatnot. I'll, I'll post uh, at the end of my video, I'll, I'll post uh, a quick um, animation of what the weather is like in this area right now and uh, across the world so you can we can compare it with what we get outside and you can make your own judgment. We'll, we'll see what we measure. Let's go have a look. 
Alrighty guys, we'll give this a shot here. We've got the uh, the Soex unit. I'm gonna have to go out here where there's a bit more light maybe. You can see the snow's pretty deep. Camera settled in. Not sure whether I'm gonna be able to get a shot of the screen here. Hmm. I can't seem to get any location where you're going to be able to see the screen, so you're going to just have to take my word for it here. We've got 0.12. Set it on the surface of the snow here. We'll give that a minute, and it'll come right back. So we give that a moment. We're up to 0.13. We'll uh, dig down in the snow a little bit and take another sample. Down a little deeper here now. 0.12 as well. It's been uh, settling out for a minute. No real change from the background in the house. So that's our samples for today. And uh, not much to speak of. Normal background radiation in my opinion. Thanks for watching.